All right, this is Jessica Lavish with The Outlaws and Todd Allen Show combined at the RNC. Right now I'm getting ready to interview David and Jason Benham. Um, they are published authors, ex -basket basketball baseball players. Um, so your new book, Living Among Lions, what is that about? All right, so Jason and I, we're twins, uh, former baseball players, and we... Um, we started a real estate company, and this is all the context for this book. Um, and uh, that company grew to 100 offices across 35 states. It attracted five reality television networks. We got our first offer from TLC. Then HG offered us a reality television contract. We signed, started filming, got fired because we were pro-life, pro-marriage guys. And uh, that kind of created a media firestorm. And as Jason and I were traveling around the country, we were seeing millions of people that are truly not happy with the direction the nation is going, that we've forsaken God, that we're in one nation without God, no longer one nation under God. And so people want to stand with courage, but they just don't really know how. So we, we wrote this book, Living Among Lions, How to Thrive Like Daniel in Today's Babylon. Daniel was a young man in the Bible who lived in a pagan nation. And he didn't just survive, he thrived. So we break it into three sections, conviction, commitment, and courage. And we talk to people about how they can thrive in today's Babylon. And, and it very much helped Jason and I draw courage in our own media firestorm when we got fired on Facebook by HGTV. <laughs> on Facebook? I know, on Facebook. It was pretty ridiculous. Oh, my gosh. Pretty unprofessional as well. So you guys went from baseball players to this. What made you go from baseball to writing a book, uh, HGTV? What, what all started that? Well, we actually went from baseball right into starting our own company, okay. real estate company. We had young families. I've got four kids. He's got five. We had to put food on the table. But we also know that our Bible tells us that whatever your hand finds to do, you do it with all your might. So we were the, uh, we, we sought to be the best real estate professionals that we could be. And we grew to 100 offices, as David said, in 35 different states. That's what attracted five different networks wanted to do a reality show on us and our business in, in 2012. And so 10 years after we started our business, we, we had all these networks wanting to do a reality show on us. And so that's how we got to the point where HG TV hired us, and then of course we got fired. We, this Living Among the Lions is actually our second book. Whatever the cost is our first book, and uh, and so now we find ourselves without a reality show, which is totally fine. We trust that God had had other things in store for us, but we're traveling the nation and speaking, and we're writing books, and uh, we also have uh, multiple companies that we own. We just started two companies in the last year, and uh, and so we're we're. <laughs> expanding the tax base, creating jobs for people, and uh, going out and speaking specifically to try to encourage Christians to stand faithfully, but also people who aren't Christians, but just regular Americans. Look, we don't have to put up with this mess. Let's just stand up and speak. Right. Oh, wow. That's really, that's really encouraging. So, um, whatever the cost, what what was that book about? Yeah, that that book was all about living for Jesus, whatever the cost, and it was it was our story with HGTV and how it all went down, and how we had to get to a point in our lives where we said, you know what, even if we're going to lose a reality show, we're going to stand strong and stay true to our faith. And then the next book, Living Among Lions, is how to help you build your story, and very practical how-to stuff based on the life of Daniel. Wow, that's that's really good. So, do you ever think another reality show? Would you do it, or are you like, nah? <laughs> we've had we've had several networks reach back out to us, and we said, hey, you know, you put together a show concept, we'll consider it, and uh, and so nothing is is materialized. But uh, David and I are always open to whatever door God would open for us. The one thing that we have to do is never allow our ambition to do the leading, since we're I mean we're entrepreneurs, you know, we're Type A personality. We just can't let our ambition jump in the driver's seat. We got to keep it into the passenger seat and let the spirit of the Lord be the one who's leading us. That's, that's really amazing. So maybe reality, maybe not. But you guys are definitely natural born stars. You guys have your hands in a bit of everything. So that's 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 definitely really really cool. So um, how long has the book been out? All right, book's been out three weeks and it it hit number thirteen on Amazon overall, which. It, it really went well. As a matter of fact, they sold out of Amazon, sold out at Christian Book Distributors. So we're very thankful with the reception for the book. The reason why is because the message resonates in the hearts of people. 
uh, Americans, millions of them, want to stand with courage. They want to have courage. But now, today, if you stand up for family values, like if you say you're pro-life or you say you're pro-marriage, marriage is between a man and a woman, then you're now considered a hater, a hater, and a uh, pan- anti-gay. Yeah, and all that junk. That's just junk, yeah. and that's mafia-type bullying. That's like the mob, yeah. and so people are sick of it. And in and, and this message, we, we talk about how to have a hard head and a soft heart. Have a hard head toward principle, but a soft heart toward people. How to reach out and resist. Reach out to individuals with compassion, but resist ideas that set themselves against the knowledge of God with courage. So, you know, the, the book has really been received well. It's only been out three weeks, but it's selling off the charts right now. That's great. So where can they find the book? Uh, anywhere books are sold. They can find the book, and uh, of course, we sell autographed books on BenhamBrothers.com. But right now, we'd rather everybody just go to their local bookstore, go on Amazon, and buy it. Right, right. that's great. And it's funny because on our way here, we were talking about headlines and how it can, if you're pro-life uh, and then you're anti-abortion, or if you're, you know, how they label you, how the media labels you, and then look look what it does you know it costs you a reality show which you know like you said that was God's doing that God didn't want you to go down that path so that's that's it's really cool you guys are really inspiring actually (laughs) well thank you if anything about us is inspiring it's just the Jesus inside of us and I tell people if God can use my brother Jason he can use anybody so there's hope (laughs) for us all well it was nice meeting you thank you for interviewing with us thanks for having us great interview all right no problem